and we're doing it. Happy Tuesday! Happy Tuesday! Tuesday is my YouTube day, so one day per week to focus on my YouTube channel to quick content, strategize, uh, film, just all in on YouTube, not focus on really anything else except coming live here with you. It's my little break in the middle of the day. Um, I'm talking to my YouTube uh, manager later on today, so that'll be fun. It's good to deep dive into analytics and get suggestions and see what's new at YouTube and see uh, what new features are going to be open to me to test with. And the big news that I'm super excited by, uh, my birthday comes up in, what day is today? My birthday is May 20th, and so I'm launching the Billionaire Mindset series. Last year on my birthday, I launched the Best Life 30, which was, hey, if I uh, had 30 days to change my life and I stopped making videos, these would be the 30 videos that I make. This year for my birthday, we're launching the Billionaire Mindset series, which is free. Uh, it's gonna be 30 days of learning from billionaires, learning their skills, their habits, their mindset, the way to think about business, growth, the books they read, everything about billionaires for 30 days. Um, it's a lot of work. Uh, and so I'm working right now, been filming some of the content, been researching, working on some cover art. Let me show you the cover art. I haven't, we haven't finished it, but we're getting close. Behind the scenes, behind the scenes. That's what we're looking at as a potential cover art graphic. We'll see, just my first little experiment into it. Anyway, um, that's what I'm up to, building our mindset, stay tuned. You'll, you'll hear more about it as we get closer. Uh, although it's, it's not a lot of time, so everything's been crunched. My team's been working uh, extra over hour, extra time, overtime, extra hours to make sure that it happens. And um, I still got a lot more filming to do today. So we're here, we're making it happen. Uh, if you guys have questions, pop it down below. If somebody wants to come in live, we can do that too. And let's see how we can bring value to you today on this Tuesday. Uh, what do we got in the house? We got Godwin wants to come live. Okay, let's bring in Godwin, see what he's got. Godwin, you're up. Here comes Godwin. God win. I think. I sent the invite. Evan, you're awesome. Thank you, Dios. Appreciate you. Ho ho! Godwin. Godwin. God. All right, we lost Godwin. Godwin. It looked like you were sleeping or something, but um, maybe the internet was not was not that great. Um, Coach, do you have? Coach Rag Raginhill, wow, I probably butchered that. Sorry. Do you have kids? I have an eleven-year-old son. I wish I started my hustle before I got kids. Time is limited. Yeah, I mean, it's still thinking. What do you do with the time that you have? Much more than worrying about the time that you don't have, right? We can all focus on like, oh, I wish I had more time. I wish I started before I was I was X. Before, you know, honestly, I think I think my son, my wife, made me a better entrepreneur than just me being solo. Truthfully, like I think having a family made me a better entrepreneur than um, than before. So, but even if it hasn't, whatever. I mean, you still have, what are you gonna do with the time you got now, right? Instead of worrying about what could have been, what might have been, what may have been, all that. Like, this is what we got. Let's go make it count, make it happen. Uh, okay, let's see, what else we got? Uh, should we do, should we do, should we do the Movement Makers mashup again? Let's do Movement Makers mashup. Okay, who's here for Movement Makers? Let's do some Q&A session with Movement Makers. Uh, I see Christy here. Okay, I see Terry Wade Thompson here. I like that. And IG Live with Angela. Let's see. Okay, let's do, let's do three. Christy, Terry, Angela, you're getting some invites. Let's make it happen. Network problem. No problem, Godwin. All good, man. Ho ho! There's Chris. Hey! Oh, there we hey. go. What's going on? Terry's in the car. Look at that. <laughs> How are Angela. you? I'm picking up my kids from school. All right. Good timing. Where's Angela? Angela, I know Angela knows how to use this because she's IG Live with Angela. Let's make it happen. Angela, I sent you the invite. How you guys doing? Happy, happy, what day is today? Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> good. Every, every day is Monday. How are you? Yeah. Every day is Monday. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. Every day is Monday. I love it. Okay. So we're going to, so let's see, where's, where's Angela? Angela, she knows what she's doing because her name is Angela with Angela. She's done just sent. Okay, Angela, I'm going to try again. Angela, we tried again. This is going to be good. Okay, guys. So if you have questions for us, uh, pop it down below or use a little chat button and we'll, we'll try to get to as many as we can. IG Live, Angela, it says you're unable to join. Let's try one more time. 
It says unable to join. I know it says, she says I'm here, but when I when I try to bring you in, it says unable to join. Let's try one more time. Come on, Angela, you can do it. There oh, she is. is. Yay! Yay! Oh, hey. Hey. Christy. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Hi, Evan. Hi, Terry. Hi, everybody. Hey, All right, we got movement makers in the house. If you guys have questions for us, pop it below, and we'll see how many we can get to and how we can bring you guys some value. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. What is the best business books for youngsters? Ooh. Best business books for you? Well, Terry's got it. Terry definitely has some answers here. Yeah. What do you got? Well, I would definitely recommend the first uh, first book would be uh, anything by Evan Carmichael. Your one word and then <laughs> built to serve, definitely. You know, start okay. with those two first. And then uh, for me, one I, I got to drive forward, but for me, one – one of the best series is definitely by Russell Brunson. So get that dot com secrets, expert secrets, and traffic secrets, and that will definitely help you build, grow, and scale your business. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ladies, what do you got? Um, I have, I would say, depending on how old they are, if they're still teens, I highly suggest um, the seven habits of highly effective teens. Um, there's the seven habits of highly effective, uh, people, which is, I think, I can't remember. It's, uh, Sean, there's Stephen Covey is Stephen Covey. And then his son, Sean Covey did, uh, I think it's Sean Covey. I can't remember off the top of my head. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but, uh, they, he did a book on seven habits of highly effective teens. And I use that with my students. Wow. All right. Cool. Angela. Cool. Well, um, it depends how young, but of course, the built to serve is always, mm -hmm. you can never go wrong there. Um, and then I love your all's choices, Terry and Chrissy. Um, and then um, also anything that, ha like, I like the Grant Cardone, the little millionaire, um, mm -hmm. little handbook that he has. I gave that to my 16 year old. So I guess it depends on how young, but yeah. There you go. I like no, that. That's a good one. I, I would default, I still default to videos. So I would. Uh, for, for your youngster, I don't know how old you are, or if it's for you or for some for your kids, um, who do you look up to the most? Or who do they look up to the most? And then either find that person's book, even a biography, like it doesn't have to be a, a business book, right? Mm -hmm. Just just reading somebody's biography, you can learn a lot about them, their mindset, their way of thinking. And if you connect to that person, uh, there's an energy to a book and there's an energy to a video. And so I just try to be around your heroes more. Look what if they've done video interviews, if they've done podcasts, if they've done books, that's where it would start to get you down the easier path. For sure. For sure. I also like... Yeah, everybody learns oh. differently. So having a book, having audio, having video, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, it's like I heard before. It's like different people learn different things differently. And, you know, depending on how that person learns could be the difference between a book or an audio or a video. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, let's get to... Oops. There's another one here. There's a bunch of them. They're flying in. Okay. I have my first interview tomorrow. Any tips, please? Well, Angela does a lot of interviews. So let's, <laughs> let's kick things off, Angela. Oh, wow. Um, wait, but is this um, a job interview or is this, um, an, or is this <laughs> a question. live? Oh, I actually don't know. I'm, let's oh, let's oh. assume like you're actually interviewing somebody, not a job interview. Okay. So if this is your first interview, um, Oh boy. Just, um, be yourself, you know, just be yourself, bring your whole self and, um, and ask the questions that you want to ask. Mm -hmm. So, so they now put in the chat job interview. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're switching it all up. Now. Oh my gosh, I give, I've first... gotten fired from all my jobs. Like I'm not the person to ask <laughs> wow, okay. a job interview. I have, a, I have a, I have a, I have a great one. If they ask you what your, depending on what company it is, if they ask you what your favorite stock is, make sure you say theirs. Cause I went for a, uh, like an internship interview once at Xerox, like a long time ago in Rochester. And they, at the end of the internship interview, they asked like, what's your favorite stock? And I was like, mm, you know, I, I don't know. They're like, uh, maybe Xerox. I'm like, so, oh, oh my God. So yeah. <laughs> Lessons learned. I love it. Terry, you got anything? Oh, Terry's 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 circling. He's circling out. Okay. He, he, maybe the signal drop while he's driving. Yeah. Um, I think just as important as you looking good for them is is you feeling like it's a good fit. I think we often too often just try to get 
Like, I want to be seen as the candidate. I want to get hired. But, but then, then you end up in some job that you job. hate. No, yeah, I'm so kind of think... cutting in, in and out a little bit here. Okay, well, I'm going, and you can, you can go next if the signal's decent. Um, so, so don't worry about getting every single job. Don't put so much pressure on, like, this has to be the job. Oh, we lost Terry. Okay. Um, focus instead on, hey, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to answer the question I know how to answer. Research the company. See what you've got on them. Like, you have to have a reason why you like the company. And just tap mm -hmm. into that. You know, if you're going to go work at Xerox, why? Why Xerox? <laughs> why do you, why do you want to be here? Why does it mean something to you? And let that passion come through. And if you don't have a good why, then maybe you shouldn't be applying to that company because you're mm -hmm. probably not going to have a lot of fun. You might get fired like Angela did a whole bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think also a really important key thing is, too, is like they always ask, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses usually? And, you know, why do you want to work here? So if those are three key questions usually that interviewers ask. So if you have those three prepared, if it's really something you want to do, like Evan said, make sure it's something that you really want. And if so, make sure you have those three questions prepared. There you go. All right. I see Francine here. Francine, we're going to bring you in. We're going to make it Ladies Day. Woohoo! Francine, if you want to accept that. Okay, let's see what else we got. You guys have questions, pop it down below. We'll see how we can... How many we can get to? Let's see what else. Uh, I love my work and I want to do it, but many times I feel sleepy when I think about my work. What to do? <sighs> what, do you guys, what do you guys got? <laughs> I, I mean, even if I'm tired, I never feel sleepy about my work because I love it so much that like I, you know, I don't it doesn't make me, t I don't feel sleepy. You know, I'm a three 30 in the morning person. I'm up and I'm, I'm going and I, and I get right to it. So um, if you're sleepy, then, you know, it, you have to ask yourself, do you enjoy what you're doing? And if you do enjoy what you're doing, then, you know, maybe this, you need to a little pick me up during the day, maybe some exercise or something to, to get your juices flowing. Love it. Angela? Um, same. Um, I love what I do. Um, you know, um, yeah, fine. You got to find something else to do. Um, I love my work and I want to do it, but many times I was like, if you, oh, oh, hi, Rosie. We got hi. Rosie in the house. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. she, this person loves their work though. They love it, but they mm. get sleepy. Um, are you getting enough rest? Are you going to bed mm. on time? Um, how's your diet? Are you, um, you know, are you doing the part of the work that you, you love, but it's like the details sort of behind the scenes mm -hmm. stuff that you don't necessarily enjoy that much. And this, I, that's where I fall asleep. It's all the little detail stuff. But, um, but if you love your work and um, are you just getting enough rest and eating right? All right, Rosie, what do you got? Um, let's see. What was, it, what was the question? I love my work and I want to do it. But so you are you getting... Sleeping. You feel sleepy. Are you getting enough? Uh, how is your nutrition? How is your sleep? What are you, are you taking breaks in between? Are you getting enough nutrients for your body? Mm -hmm. um, are you taking a little break and doing a couple of jumping jacks in between to get your 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 body moving? Jumping jacks in between. I love it. Rosie's <laughs> bringing the cardio. <laughs> And music, um, music is always how it can be helpful mm -hmm. too. I think you either don't love the thing or you're afraid of the thing and what it all means. Like it's got to be perfect and so it stresses you out. So figure out which, which one of those it is. If you don't actually love it, then you, you shouldn't be doing it. You got to move on and go do something else. Mm -hmm. If you're just afraid of it, then you have to go through to teach yourself that you do the scary things that you're afraid to do, right? So when mm -hmm. even going live here, you know, we go live, we, we bring in Christy, we bring in Rosie, we bring in Angela. Maybe they're like, oh my God, this is scary. Come on and here we are, right? Like teach yourself that you do the scary things. So mm -hmm. if you don't love it though, you have to move on. And if it's just that it's fear, then you have to go through. Either way, the answer is actually, the answer is not going to sleep, right? Assume when you've mm -hmm. done your sleep and everything, right? Mm -hmm. If it's causing you that anxiety or stress or it's making you feel sleepy and overwhelmed, you either don't love it or uh, you just are afraid. Uh, somebody in the chat is asking, do you think that age 30 is too late to restart your life? 
Absolutely not. I'm 43 and I'm still figuring out what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm 38. So I just started. So it's not too late at all. Okay, I'm not giving my age. You can <laughs> you can restart every moment of your life. It's just reset, reset. I mean, we're, you're constantly moving forward. You can't go back. So you're constantly resetting um, in your life. So yeah, do it. Mm -hmm. I am 41 on the 20th. So May is my birthday month. So I turned 41 on the 20th. Uh, listen, I started my YouTube channel in 2009. So I was... 29 when I started my YouTube channel. So that, that's when I uploaded my first video. So it's definitely not too late. It's funny, like people say, oh, I'm too young. And then they say, oh, I'm too old. Like, when are you the perfect age? Right. You're never I the agree. perfect age. Mm -mm. The perfect age is however old you are right now. Right. right? Go, make, create. And the other thing is too, is you don't want to get to 40 and still be asking yourself the same question, right? So whatever that is that you need to do, because you're not happy where you are, you don't want to get to, you know, 10 years, 20 years down the road and still be saying, well, gosh, why didn't I, you know, do that when I was 30? So take it and, and run with it. Find whatever it is that makes you happy and go with it. Yeah. I love it. Oh, okay. Here's one. This is good for the ladies here off topic, but how do I tell a girl I have feelings for her? Aww. <laughs> what do you got, ladies? Um, I would say just, just tell her, you know, just say, I mean, it's one of those things, just put yourself out there. The worst thing she's going to say is, is no, you know, or that she's not interested in you in that way. So, I mean, hey, I, you know, I, I like you and do you want to, you want to go steady? No, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Just be honest. Right. Just, just say, Hey, I want to share with you how I feel about you and you make me feel a certain way. And I admire certain qualities about you and just be honest about how you feel. Yeah. Right. But be honest with how you feel and have fun. Have mm -hmm. fun. Don't take don't take yourself too seriously, mm -hmm. and just um, just be confident when you do tell her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and just remember, if you don't, you're going to regret it. So yes, you, yeah. you don't want to live with you no know, with tons of regrets. So just go and do it, man. Just do it. Yeah. Okay, back on topic. What if one has too many interests and they keep changing over time too? Mm. Um, I'm an excellent candidate for that one. <laughs> I have a podcast. I'm writing my a book. I have a radio show. I'm a teacher. I, you know, I now do editing for a magazine. Like, I don't know. I guess it all depends on what if, I mean, life is full of so many of different things, you know, go with the variety as long as you can manage them properly, you know, don't go with changing one thing and another and not finishing what you're what you started with it, something else, because then that's just, then that's just, you know, not following through. But if you can, if you can actually manage different things and have different experiences, then I say go with it. Yeah, there's ever too many interests. Yeah. The, so what if one has too many interests? Um, well, I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing to have interest in things. I think if you are, if you have a mission, you want to discover your, your why and mm -hmm. figure out if those interests are adding value to you and how they can add value to others. Um, and that's because in, having interest is good, but how is it really adding value to you? And, and is it, is it really going to help you in your future? Evan? <laughs> what? I'm next. You go. I'm, I'll, I'll close it. I, you guys are taking all my answers, so I got to think of something else. Literally, what do you got, Rosie? Well, I feel like this is me right now. I have a lot of interest, and it keeps changing over time, too. But the more I put myself out there and keep trying, I'm learning that I'm leaning towards this direction. So try it and, and see which 
I don't know, for me, it's opening up to, I'm, I want to go here now. So mm -hmm. explore and yeah, I don't, Evan. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's, that's great. Good. Yeah. Um, I, I think that, I think it's fantastic to have interests. I think the more you can actually combine them so that it's not two separate things, but you're combining them together mm -hmm. is the way for you to be unique and win. So, you know, I like League of Legends. It's a video game and I, and I like answering business questions. So four days a week, we stream live and answer business questions. We're, we're not live tonight, but tomorrow night we're back on. Uh, nobody else is doing that and it's fun and it's unique and it's not one or the other, it's both. I think as well, as you get new interest in things, go, go explore it. You never know. It might be the next big thing or it might be a one and done, right? I mean, when I made the top 10 rules video on Kanye West, I thought it was a one on one and done. And then people asked for more and I thought, okay, yeah, I could have fun doing that. But when I made my Chinese rap song, people asked for more like, no, I don't, I don't, I'm done. I don't want to be a rapper. It's not what I, you know, I'm trying to do. Um, people ask me like, when is the next book coming out? I don't know. It doesn't feel right. There is no next book, not yet at least, but if I get the, the bug or the itch to do it, then I'll go off and do it. Um, I think we judge ourselves too harshly for trying to have the whole, our rest of our entire lives all figured out. You mm -hmm. won't. And if you start to lose interest in something and gain interest in something else, that's often a sign that, okay, what you're doing right now isn't the thing for you anymore. Fortunately for me, I still love making YouTube videos. So I've been consistent on that for 12 years or whatever it's been. But the second it starts to feel like work and I lose interest, I'm going to, I'm going to be out and go do something else. And I, th I think that's good because if you're stuck doing work that you hate, a lot of times what you started off is great. And then, and then you lose interest in it and then it becomes a job and you bought yourself a job and you either have to re-energize and reinvigorate or you move on and go do something else because doing work that you don't like anymore is never the path to greatness. For sure. So awesome. good. You like that? All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Questions are flying in. Um, let's see. What do we got? What's, what's one we can all answer here? Uh, I'm a college student. I want to be self-motivated and keep studying how to do that. Mm. Well, are you in college for the right reason? That's Ooh. that's my first question is because a lot of times we are told and I'm I'm a teacher. So, you know, I don't necessarily believe that college is for everybody. So if you're in it for the right reason, um, then I think the self-motivation will be there. You have to ask yourself, am I studying what I'm studying because I want to or because it's what my parents or society is necessarily telling me that that's a good path to go down? Um, so I think there's a lot of underlying questions there because I think that uh, if you know why you're in college, then it will be motivating to be there. But the other thing is, too, is that, I mean, we're all going to be a little unmotivated at times when we're, when we're studying or going to college because there's some things that we just don't necessarily enjoy as much as others. But um, I highly suggest Limitless by Jim Quick for studying techniques. Um, to help you move that studying along further. Cool. I missed 56 days of school my senior year. I'm probably not the one to ask about <laughs> anything about She got fired or... from all her jobs. <laughs> she skipped out on all of her schooling. <laughs> hey, but I'm a movement maker, y'all. Let's, okay, Let's go. Making moves. That's right. That's, That's right. what you do. Sign up to be a movement maker, and all your dreams will come true. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. There you go. <laughs> it's a little much. <laughs> all right rosie what do you got um so uh, what is it that you're studying um, i guess uh, uh imagine the person that you're gonna be and use your future self as your motivation mm. that's good that's good yeah rosie. so i mean to, to christy's point i think a lot of people go into school because they want to get a job and a lot of people go continue their studies because they don't want to disappoint their parents mm-hmm and so that's, at some point, everybody has to decide when you're going to be an adult. Maybe it's now, mm -hmm. maybe it's when you're 24, maybe it's when you're 32. Like, when do you start to live your version of your life? Mm -hmm. And that may mean short-term disappointing your parents, but long-term making everybody happy. Because you going to school that then leads to a career of not a lot of happiness for you is not going to be great for everybody. And you're going to end up blaming your parents that they made you go here. Uh, your actions have to map to your ambitions. So 
where do you want to go in life? If you want to be a doctor, you have to go to school. Like there's no, mm -hmm. you're not going to go be a surgeon if you don't have a degree, right? If you want to be an entrepreneur, this is probably not going to be a ton for you in university. Um, mm -hmm. If you're not sure, then it can be a great backup plan for you. So what are your ultimate ambitions? And then make sure your action plan leads towards you getting there. Um, and then just recognize at some point you have to live your version of your life. And maybe, maybe today's the day, and this is the year. All right, we got to go soon, but I want a final message from each of the ladies here on the panel, Movement Makers ladies in the house. To close us off, our message of the day is what, ladies? Well, it's love. Mm. It's love. Love. You, you, want to t you want to give us a couple more sentences on love? Angela? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> just, <laughs> um, yeah, just, um, you know, love. Love yourself, love others. Um, you know, you can go sign up for Believe Raids and you can be a part of that. Um, spreading love by um, signing up to that and getting an email and go loving on somebody in this community or even um, outside of this community um, to really add value to the world. So, yeah. And super quick, Believe Raids, guys, has been so much fun. Angela picks somebody every day to just go drop a whole bunch of love on. And it's mm -hmm. awesome watching people who have one comment or two comments or no comments on a post on Instagram. And then boom, it all explodes because yeah. we drop on them and give them so much love. So that's free. If you want a, a simple way to do an act of kindness every day, it's believe and, um, and you can, you can join in. It's, it's, it's been a week since we've done it. This is week just two. A few, it's just a few days, just a few people that yeah. we've been loving. So on, much, so. I love it. I look forward to it every morning. Like here's this new person to go drop some love on. I think we all, would love to do a daily act of kindness, but we struggle with like, mm -hmm. okay, who do we do this for? So it's great that here's, it gets delivered to you uh, automatically and it takes you, you know, 30 seconds to go leave a comment and give somebody some love. Mm -hmm. Anyway, believerates.com. Okay. That's Rosie, it. what do you got? Final message. Who? You. Oh, me, me. <laughs> um, it's uh, whatever action steps or whatever you want to do and you feel like a calling to do it for today maybe is doing a, a video or calling your mom is just take one step that's gonna get you take one hold on see i'm new to this but you got this one, you got this um, take one um um take one action that your heart is like on fire for you know maybe it's calling your mom maybe is you know, working out, maybe is making a green smoothie. I don't know what it is, but take that one action step that's gonna make your heart keep that fire going. <laughs> I love it, Rosie. Yes, Rosie. Hey, got it. All right, Christy, bring us home. Yeah, I just think that just going off with what Angela said, love yourself and be kind to yourself. You know, listen to what you're saying about you or to about you to other people, and then ask yourself, would I ever say that to someone else? And most times we aren't aware of what we're saying to ourselves and how much we're putting ourselves down. And so when that happens, you know, if that's not something that you would say to someone else or advise someone else to do or to say to themselves, then don't say it to yourself because you have to love yourself just as much as you love everybody else. I love it. Well, guys, go follow Good. Christy, Rosie Rose, Angela. We had Terry Thompson for a couple minutes in there as well. Appreciate you guys. Back on tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern. Continue to believe, everyone. Bye. We'll see you later. Bye. Much love. Bye. 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 Love you guys. Bye.